Before starting, I would like to express my sincere th thanks to Irepaz uh, and Still Orbis administration to having me uh, this opportunity to give information about Turkish steel sector. Turkish economy has shown stable growth during the last 10 years period and manufacturing se sector has supported these activities. Uh, construction sector during the last five years period shown negative trend and Turkish steel sector uh, fluctuated depending upon world situation or some political situation or uh, internal conditions. And during the uh, pandemic period, in comparison to the other part of the world, Turkish economy has shown good performance and growth 6.1% in the year 2020 and 12.7% in the year 2021. Then expectation mark was for the year 2020 also positive, but the slowdown in economies and the invasion of the uh, Russia to, to Ukraine has created negative conditions and the mutual uh, ban and mutual uh, sanctions uh, uh, between Russia and European Union uh, created very negative effect on the, the natural gas prices and energy prices. Similar to uh, European region, Turkish economy also affected very negatively during the uh, first half of the year, the natural gas prices, energy prices increased more than 150%. Then in August, uh, in one night, increased 50%. And this created very uncompetitive conditions for Turkish steel sector's export. And also, uh, even it was not uh, very easy to compete in local market against the imported material. This created very negative conditions. And uh, by the end of March, the, because of the March better performance, uh, Turkish steel sector has been the ninth biggest producer in the world. It was 10th biggest producer by February. If you look to the capacity, capacity is now 55 million ton level, and we are expecting that it will be around 60 million ton level by the end of this year. Capacity utilization decreased uh, up to 64% uh, level because of the last year negative performance, but in the year 2021, it was 74.7%, uh, around 75%. Uh, so it's negatively affected from the developments. Looking to the Turkish crude steel production by first three months, in comparison to last year, uh, there has been 15.56% decrease uh, in January. Uh, and in earthquake area, the decrease was 35.4% uh, because this region has been affected more uh, than the other uh, region of uh, Turkish production. Coming to the February, because of the earthquake, it has been the disaster that we didn't face uh, during the last 100 years period. Uh, in some uh, statements, in accordance with some statements, this is the biggest earthquake affected Turkish region, uh, Turkey's region uh, more than 500 years ago. If, if you come to the Anatolia, you will see lots of monuments uh, innovated from the underground because all uh, earthquakes destroyed the uh, monuments, civilizations, and we, we, have li we were living the same. Uh, unfortunately, the necessary measures couldn't be taken. That is, that is the one of the big problem we face with the similar problem in the year 1999. And we, we considered that uh, this will not happen again. It was at that time 24,000 people died 
and still is destroyed in the Marmara region. But this time it has been bigger. It was two uh, earthquake, two following earthquake, uh, six, seven point four and seven point six per uh, strength. It was very big, uh, very negatively affected. And our steel sector stopped its activities in February. Uh, some of them started just after one week. Uh, some of them started by the end of uh, February and uh, only around 6% utilized during the earthquake, after earthquake term. And total production has been 24% uh, in this region. In March, this uh, rise to the uh, around 50% level. Uh, because particularly the biggest producer, Istemir, has not started to its activities. And in April, we are expecting that this will sharply increase. And after May, uh, there will not be any negative effect of earthquake in uh, Turkish steel facilities. Uh, so we can say that the steel sector has not affected as the constructions uh, in the region. Looking to the billet production, uh, billet production has been around 26 million ton level in the year 2017, and after this time, in the year 2021, it approached to this figure. Uh, then it has decreased, uh, and uh, this year also it decreased uh, during the first three months period. And it's similar in uh, in long steel production figures, uh, it's around 26, 27 million tons. And there is a small decrease in uh, first quarter of the year 2023. But I should uh, take your attention to the issue that uh, the March figures are quite different than the first two months figures. So in March, that there is increase in the figures. Looking to the details of the uh, production, uh, in the year 2022, uh, it was uh, 3.1 million, 3.2 million ton production. In the year 2003, uh, the earthquake effect is very clear here. It was around 1.5 million, and the decrease is 53%. Uh, looking to the rebar production, it's around 40% decrease. Uh, so, in fact, the average production of Turkish steel sector uh, is around was around 3.4 million ton in the year 2021, uh, 2.9 million ton uh, in the year 2020, and 2.5 million ton in the year. 2023, 22 and 23. So uh, during the last three years period, our production decreased around 28%. So it was very negative conditions. And unfortunately, the negative conditions uh, has been supported with the earthquake conditions. And we are hoping that after April, step by step, uh, the conditions will be better. Uh, looking to the rebar and y rod production in the year, uh, this is three monthly figures, by the way. Uh, in the year 2022, there has been around 300,000 ton decrease. And in the year 2023, uh, there has been uh, 200,000 ton decrease. This is basically earthquake effect. And I should uh, give you the information that in March, our uh, long product consumption increased uh, first time 63% uh, and it's showing that the demand related with the earthquake is very uh, quickly came to agenda and we expect that these figures uh, totally will change. Uh, of course, we should uh, mention one issue, whatever the consumption level the increase in import is ne negatively affecting the Turkish steel sector.
and it's not only in uh, flat products in long products also there is huge consumption uh, uh, huge import uh, tendency uh, particularly uh, nowadays coming from some free trade agreement uh, uh, countries from the Far East region and Russian Federation. Looking to the Turkish Finnish steel production, Turkish Finnish steel production is in comparison to uh, raw, raw steel uh, production, it's 37 million ton, it's around 2 million ton higher because of the uh, import support. Looking to Turkish steel consumption, it's 32 million tons. Uh, but as I mentioned, because of the March increase in the year 2023, there is a tendency to increase, 5% increase of this steel production. Uh, Turkish long steel uh, consumption uh, was in decreasing tendency, but in the year 2023, as I mentioned, it has been 63% uh, increase in March. Uh, it seems that there is around 28% increase in long steel consumption. It's uh, showing that the consumption, because of the uh, increase in the earthquake-related investments very sharply. Looking to the Tur Turkey's export-import ratio, in, in general, uh, the export was higher than the import, but uh, the recently our export uh, came to the around 50% uh, level of the import. Uh, so uh, export-import imp ratio also uh, is working negatively for Turkish steel sector uh, for this year. This is a little bit better, but particularly during the uh, last two years, it has also similar to uh, Turkey's long steel trade. Turkey's long steel trade uh, was, we were importing around 10-15% uh, for uh, Turkish consumption, but this has started to change. Now, uh, by the year 2023, it has been 30% import. This graphic is very openly showing the situation of the Turkish rebar export. As you can see, it was uh, reached to the uh, 700,000 uh, in, uh, in the year 2023, July, and uh, around 670,000 in March of 2022, then it has decreased to 200,000 ton level. This is These are the monthly figures. Uh, and this is uh, very uh, disturbing for Turkish steel sector. Wyrot export is also showing the similar tendency. Uh, Turkish steel sector has good wireless capacity, but we, we are not in a position to utilize this existing capacity. And recently, import is coming uh, from different destination, par particularly from the our north uh, region uh, neighbors and from the forest countries. Looking to the Turkey's long steel consumption and import share. Uh, it was 8% level, but even uh, having big capacity increase, uh, the import still uh, sh uh, keeping its share, and there is some uh, modest increase also in import. Okay, coming to the end. Turkish steel sector, as I mentioned, uh, was approached three and a half million ton uh, production level uh, in the year 2021, and we were expecting that 
we will reach to the four million ton level, but it has decreased unfortunately to two and a half million ton levels. But uh, we were very uh, rely on the expectations that uh, the import substitution will be successful, but government approach to the matter has negatively affected. We, we, in comparison to United States and European Union, our market is uh, very open and particularly from the uh, forest region and the Russian Federation, there is huge import uh, and import share in Turkish flat steel consumption is around uh, 52%. If we look to the uh, import import share to the whole steel consumption, it's 32%. Uh, in comparison to the European Union and other countries, this is very high. In European Union, when it came to 20% level, they say that's enough. It's, it's not in any case acceptable. But in our case, that is not, that's not working in this way. Now we are planning to have new capacity uh, this year, uh, during the second half of the year, four and a half million ton uh, for flat steel and uh, in other uh, region also, uh, there are some additional two and a half, three million ton. So we will have enough, more than enough capacity in flat steel and we are expecting that under these conditions, the flat steel capacity will have enough uh, source uh, to to have the import substitution, uh, but the only matter is that the comparative, in general, in uh, economy, we say comparative advantage. Uh, we have comparative disadvantage. Uh, in comparison to uh, European Union region, in general, we are 50, 60, 100, dollars, lower prices, uh, the cost uh, working in this way. In comparison to United States, uh, the price differences uh, reaching to $400 level. It was around $1,000 uh, two years ago. Uh, but in comparison to forest region, because of they did not affect it uh, from the energy prices as much as Turkish steel sector. and. Uh, some government supports uh, very actively governments uh, putting targets for the export and creating necessary instruments for realization of this uh, export uh, targets. Uh, it's not easy to compete to establish same uh, cost uh, conditions. For that reason, it's creating difficulty. But I can tell you in this way that Turkish steel sector is competitive in any case. If there is no artificial interventions, such as it happened in the year 2022 with the energy prices in one nine fifty percent increase without calculation, just to keep one of the company uh, uh, in the market, namely Botash, which is responsible from the uh, natural gas distribution, uh, this created very big difficulty. Sometimes government uh, acts in a way that the doctor, that just putting their uh, uh, all sensitivity to, to the one uh, area and neglecting the other areas and uh, the, the, uh, their, this efforts disturbing the other areas of the body, it has been working in this way and all to, uh, the energy intensive sectors has negatively affected from these practices and Turkish steel sector was the biggest uh, affected sector a decrease in capacity utilization from 74% uh, to 50% levels decrease in export uh, up to 50% levels very clearly showing this you can uh, repair some area with some extreme activities but you should uh, also very sensitively consider the negative effect to the other areas. This hasn't been done. We hope that this will not happen in next coming months. Uh, as Mr. Hidalgo mentioned uh, to the Spanish economy, we hope that 
after uh, elections, whoever is the winner, the policies will very sharply change and the rational uh, balance will be established between uh, monetary policy and uh, ec other economical efforts, the uh, interest rates uh, and uh, exchange rate matters. Uh, if you put uh, very uh, big pressure on the interest rates and the uh, exchange rates, you can be temporarily successful, but then import has soared in Turkey. Now, last month, it's also in Turkish steel sector. While our export is decreasing, import is increasing very sharply. There should be a normal balance this, the, the, between these figures. And we hope that considering the big picture, this policy will, will be reconsidered again. And Turkish sector is uh, also will be one of the uh, sector will utilize these new policy changes. Uh, also, the investment in earthquake region creates opportunities. This is, on the one hand, big unfortunate. Uh, nothing may compensate the losses of the humans. Uh, but in any case, uh, this created two type of opportunities. Uh, first, around 650,000 new housing investment will be realized and 130,000 of it already started. This is the first. Second, more important issue is that uh, just in 1999, we were expecting that after this time, this will not happen again. This destruction will not happen again, but government could not establish the uh, judicial infrastructure. For example, if the expert determined that this building is not good enough, good strong enough to, to uh, against the earthquake, uh, it, there was no legal infrastructure to uh, destroy and rebuild again. It has been, it has taken 15, 20 years to re uh, destroy it. Mr. Dalbeler is here. He preferred not to stay in his housing and left the housing in Istanbul. Now, this created a kind of atmosphere that this shouldn't be happen in Istanbul region. In uh, North region, there is also a fault line in North region and two, two times more people living in this fault uh, line. We hope that in addition to the uh, South region, the uh, North region will also uh, rebuild and this will create some uh, activity Turkish for Turkish economy, uh, for Turkish steel sector, uh, and also we will not face with a uh, with such a kind of very disturbing pictures in next coming earthquake earthquake is destiny of this region we cannot escape from this because this fault lines working in sometimes 50 years 100 years when it comes to agenda there shouldn't be such a kind of result the problem is the source from where we will so we will find the necessary source for these investments Unfortunately, this time, Turkey is facing uh, with very difficulty, very competitive election conditions, and uh, opposition and uh, ruling parties are uh, competing in a way to give more and more to the people. And this is finishing the uh, sources, and we hope that this will not create the reason that we do not have enough uh, Financial, financial opportunities to, to allocate to this two region to create better conditions against earthquake. That is the main conditions for Turkish steel sector. And we are expecting that uh, the manufacturing industry will continue to support Turkish uh, steel consumption and uh, the growth of the Turkish economy in next coming years. Our uh, manufacturing industry infrastructure is very strong in this respect. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Otoya. We have a question, Mr. Baisal, front row. Here. Uh, 
Thank you, Mr. Yaan, for a great presentation. And you have clearly demonstrated the negative effects of the earthquake in Turkey. We're very sorry to hear all this in devastation and that effect on the steel industry. Since the rebuilding of the uh, uh, infrastructure over there and the housing, it will take time. So it looks like the steel industry is not going to benefit from that for a while. So I was wondering, what did your neighbor countries, especially EU, did to help your industry going forward? Just like particularly maybe in increasing the quotas so that the steel industry can come back to its, uh, its shape. Did they do anything for you? If there is no any secret uh, practices, I'm not aware of it. Uh, so uh, I don't heard till this time that you created uh, any priority to, uh, to, do, to this region, to the steel producers in this region. Uh, in fact, it might be a very good message that we are together in difficult conditions. We will continue to support you. This might be expected, in fact. Unfortunately, we couldn't see such a kind of approach. In verbally, everybody is sharing your uh, difficulties, uh, telling their uh, supports. But in real terms, for example, let me tell you in this way. Initially, the financial cost of this earthquake has been declared as $100 billion. But $100 billion were very initial uh, calculation on the base of the buildings that will be established. Then it has considered $150 billion. This, this uh, cost is not co uh, considering the infrastructure and historical buildings. For example, Hatay is pure, purely historical area and all of them, all of these historical buildings destroyed and they, they should rebuild. The highways, 500 kilometer distance, highways destroyed very much, motorways destroyed very much. Uh, and so the amount is well beyond from the 100, 150 billion dollars. As far as I remember the uh, discussion start that we will not uh, leave alone the Turkey against this uh, destruction, we will uh, share the all costs, and there has been a uh, decision after meeting around $5 billion allocation. I don't know what happened to these figures, but in, in, in any case, these figures will be higher and higher than expected, uh, and the international support uh, is questionable in this respect. I'm actually very sorry to hear that, because I think eventually your neighboring countries, especially Europe, will benefit from from this while selling all the new TVs or cars or or yeah. the uh, white goods. So there's a there's a you know down the stream benefit for it, but they have to support you. And I'm so sorry that they haven't done anything. Yeah. Any other questions? I might have one uh, if you allow me to do so. Uh, is there any reasonable time frame uh, or projection for rebuilding of uh, this uh, rebuilding in the area? Uh, the projection, I mean, six hundred thousand. Uh, uh, I think for first one hundred thirty thousand will be finished in one one and a half year period, but after election it it might be uh, slowed down, uh, and now. As far as I see that there are some activities for the Istanbul region to eliminate procedures to di discuss the matter. If you uh, determine that this is not uh, good enough for the earthquake, uh, it will be destroyed in short time possible. And government started to uh, allocate some financial uh, opportunities to that era about 50 percent level. This also will create new activities. In, I already see that there are lots of buildings in Istanbul being destroyed and people, to some extent, started to leave Istanbul to eliminate this probability. So uh, it's not only the uh, South region, but North region also needed very strong intervention to this issue. The other rest of the other buildings 
uh, will uh, will be realized in next coming four years, five years period. I expect. Any other questions? None, I believe. So thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay.